What is up guys, my name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be exploding your mind and hopefully your income with these 5 influencer marketing hacks. The first influencer marketing hack is utilizing story posts. Many influencers undervalue their story posts, some charging half or even less than what they're charging for regular posts. Story posts have a couple key benefits. The main one being the swipe up feature. I'm sure you know what this is, but if you don't, a business page with over 10,000 followers can add links to their story posts that customers can just swipe up to visit. This is huge because it eliminates another step of the process that a customer has to take. Another benefit of story posts is almost every account leaves them up for 24 hours. That means you're getting 24 hours of exposure for around the same price as a 3 hour regular post. The next hack is utilizing video ads. Video ads are great because they're so unsaturated. A customer that normally scrolls past anything that even closely resembles an ad is more likely to watch a video, especially if you have an intriguing thumbnail. Another key benefit of video ads is that they're easier to get on the explore page. I've had multiple videos get on the explore page and give me hundreds of thousands of views for like a $20 shout out. The third hack is to use a text post. If you don't know what that is, I'll throw up a picture, but these are huge because you see them all the time on meme pages and people don't expect it to be an ad. If you have a good product and you use a text post to tell a story about it, then you're going to get a lot of sales. The fourth hack is personal influencers. These are really underused and I honestly don't know why. Personal influencers are huge because they have really engaged followers and those followers are a lot more likely to buy something if they say it's great. When you're using a personal influencer, it's all about leveraging their brand. You don't just want to throw up a normal ad on their page. If you're selling clothing, get them to take a picture in it. If you're selling something else, get them to make a video or take a picture with it. Personal influencers are going to be a lot more expensive than regular influencers, but it's probably going to be worth it. The fifth hack is how to get influencers to reply. My approach really depends on the size of the influencer because I'm going to be a lot more professional if it's a larger account. But keep in mind that these people probably get approached by dropshippers 10 times a day so you need to show that you mean business. If you're reaching out to a smaller page I would start it out with an emoji and all capital letters to catch their attention. If you're reaching out to a larger page then they're probably going to have an email or a kick and that's going to be the best way to contact them. Also don't send them a whole big paragraph because they're not going to read it. Just send them a couple sentences and ask for their rates. I tried to make this video as value packed as possible so I really hope you enjoyed it. If so do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. You guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.